Turning now to your forecast, we're going to talk a little bit more about the drought conditions right now, and we're talking now about severe drought conditions. Yeah, you know what? If you've been with us for the last couple of weeks, we've been watching as the drought's kind of been building in the East Tennessee, and clearly for a reason, we haven't had any rainfall, right? Yeah. We only saw 300s of an inch of rain the entire month of September. Mm -hmm. So we've been posting articles, we've been talking about it. Let's talk about the latest drought information. This came down at 8.30 this morning, uh, the U.S. Drought Monitor. And, uh, and much of East Tennessee now is under a moderate drought. That's the light shaded brown area. But notice the darker brown, darker orange color. That is now a severe drought. And that's creeping into places like Hamblin County, Cott County, Greene County, up into southern Kentucky in the northern parts of Claiborne, Campbell, and uh, also uh, Scott County. Then you come over to Cumberland and Roan County, parts of Cumberland and Roan, and extending down into Ray, Meigs, and McMinn County. So let me go to last week's. You'll see how that changes. See how that orange has really expanded from last week. So this is last week's. Now we'll go back to this week's, and that is the drought situation that we're dealing with. We have a whole article on our web, web, web page. Go to WBIR.com. It's the main story right now. If you log on to our web page and you can see how this is affecting not only just honey production, but corn growing and a lot of the crops here in East Tennessee. So the drought is not a good situation and it continues sunny, hot, and dry. 95 degrees is the forecast high here today. Average is 75 and the record is 94 set back in 1884. An old time record 